aromatic compounds are formed from a cation and an anion, and usually it's a metal and a nonmetal. And ionic compounds are electrically neutral. Cations and anions have opposite charges, and just like Paula Abdul sang in her song in 1989, opposites attract. And those electrostatic forces that keep ions together in ionic compounds are called ionic bonds. When the bonds form, the compound is neutral. This chemical formula is for sodium chloride. The chemical formula shows the kinds and number of atoms in the smallest representative unit of a substance. This is a nice, simple representation, but it's not exactly the truth. Ionic compounds exist as a collection of positively and negatively charged ions, arranged in repeating patterns. So to talk about the lowest whole number ratio of ions, we say formula unit instead of a word like molecule. The ratio here for sodium chloride is a one-to-one -one ratio of sodium to chlorine. But in a different ionic compound, like magnesium chloride, the ratio of magnesium to chlorine is one to two. The subscripts help tell you about the ratio. Most ionic compounds are crystalline solids at room temperature. The structure of the ionic compound at the atomic level plays a role in the crystalline structure that you can sometimes even see with the naked eye, like in these sodium chloride crystals. Ionic compounds also have generally high melting points and can conduct electricity when they're melted or dissolved in water. The cations that are dissolved in water are attracted to the negative electrode, and the anions move to the positive electrode. This will help conduct electricity. Thanks for watching this episode of Teacher's Pet. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at SciencePet.